We started 2023 with unfortunate but familiar sights. Women, children, families sleeping on the streets of El Paso. Then a visit from the President of the United States to get a glimpse of what we see every day living along the U.S.-Mexico border. But not long after, more attacks on asylum seekers, this time in the form of a proposed travel ban forcing migrants to prove they tried seeking asylum in another country in order to be eligible to apply for asylum in this country. I definitely wish that more advocates um, you know, would have been included in the visit. Um, but I think it's really important for, um, for, for the reality check of what, what it looks like. Meanwhile, tragedy was looming. We grieved the deaths of 40 men burned alive or suffocated by smoke during a fire inside a migrant detention center in Ciudad Juarez. To this day, we are still waiting to learn why guards did not let them out of their cells. Amid tragedy, this community came together on the land we call home, regardless of borders and border fences. This year, we finally saw an end to Title 42, the pandemic-era restriction that allowed the U.S. to turn asylum seekers away and to return to Title 8, deporting and penalizing asylum seekers. We also saw the launch of the CBP-1 app, asylum seekers now waiting in Mexico, relying on a phone app for their chance to seek asylum. This year, we witnessed the heartbreaking reality of migration. A mother doing everything possible to be by her child's side in the hospital. Our team working through every bit of the red tape to make it possible. Despite every effort, the world lost a beautiful young soul and we grieved. Amid the tragedy, amid the heartbreak, we found comfort in small pockets of joy. Witnessing a young man who arrived at our border as an unaccompanied child become a high school graduate and then a college student. Proof that given the opportunity, migrants will rise to the occasion. No sé dónde estuviera si no fuera por mis amigos, mi familia y por Natasha. Sin más que nada que sin ella, la verdad sin ella no, no, no estuviera aquí, la verdad. Sin ella no estuviera aquí. And a celebration as we announced our new identity, Estrella del Paso, a symbol of our beautiful border community and our commitment to this work. Through it all, we have leaned on your unwavering support. You have been there time after time. We have connected through our stories and our values. We found the time to dance and laugh, coming together with a message of unity and welcoming. But as we see the end to another year, we see yet another attack on migrants in the state of Texas. We will respond as we always do, by fighting injustices and inhumane policies and making sure migrants are informed and know how to protect themselves and stand up for their rights. We have so much to look back on in 2023 as diocesan migrant and refugee services. And we have so much to look forward to in 2024 as Estrella del Paso. While we expect more obstacles, we also expect to change more lives, to give people hope and opportunity, and to spread our wholehearted belief that you belong.